welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. Jim Edwards, before the break, we were talking about this extraordinary vetting process. Could you tell our listeners a little bit about that? Well, we have a thorough vetting process. Uh, we have, uh, it's about actually six we pages. We is who? The Republican Renaissance PAC. The Republican yeah. Renaissance PAC. And this is a state PAC that's registered with all of the money that goes uh, through it from donors uh, to candidates and uh, the candidates themselves. This is all the legal thing. It is not a 501c4 or anything where you can stand off. Uh, we're in the mud wrestling with the rest of the political pigs no. in a real political organization. And that's right. And there, there are three things. There's a number of things we do in the vetting process, but the three things that stand out is they, they sign a pledge, and part of that pledge asks them if they uh, have read and agree with the platform for the Illinois Republican Party. How many the of the candidates don't read the platform? Hmm. Well, if they're going to get... Uh, approved by us, they have to read it okay. and they have to agree to it because uh, it's a good platform. There's nothing wrong with a platform. Okay. And I will give you one indication of a problem we have in Illinois, and that is that um, the, the, the Illinois Citizens for Life came out with a survey of all candidates, Republicans, Independents, Democrats, mm -hmm. and just give you one idea, one part of the platform, it says we stand for right to life, mm -hmm. including that of the unborn. Very simple. And um, the, so the Citizens for Life put out their survey, and it says if you score one, it means you believe in all right-to-life issues. Two, not all of them. Three, most of them you don't agree with. And four, you don't stand for any right-to-life issues. So there are two Republicans that stand out that uh, scored a four. And I'm not going to mention any names, mm -hmm. but they're in leadership. Mm -hmm. So here we have leaders that go completely and totally directly opposite of our own platform. Now, I find that to be a problematic because I come from so the business world. So do the world. Tea Party people, because you're talking values. That's it. Well, and not only values, but, you know, these are hypocrites, Jack. You have somebody working for your engineering complex, and they don't believe in your policies and procedures. How long is it going to be before either one of two things will happen? They either have some, pro some new process that could revolutionize your business, <laughs> which ain't likely, or... They get fired because they're going to cause disruption oh, yes. in your whole plan. Well, you know what? These are the leaders. There that are don't laws in engineering, in uh, Newton's laws of motion, and, and such. Uh, yeah, you, you just can't go along uh, violating the uh, laws of a decent religion. Uh, right. You know, there's such a thing as a natural law. Uh, you, you'd hear uh, uh, Justice Thomas talk about that when he was being nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, we, uh, human beings, over the last 10 million years, have evolved from guys that were stooped back from work to we're really running up right now, but still acting like apes. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, as our physical being developed over those years, so did the working relationship develop between people. And some decent things evolved. Well, society. It's like, how society grew. But before the society was a family. Yes. And uh, that's uh, what's still with us as the best use uh, form of government we've got is the family itself. Mm -hmm. And from that evolves other things. But so we, we've uh, learned uh, various ways of, of uh, coordinating with each other in a family. And uh, we've got morals and so forth. And they're expressed actually in the Republican platform. Now, now Jim, you were... Economic ones as well as uh, social ones. Now, you were saying... Uh, the candidates. Mm -hmm. This this election process is like hiring someone to do the job. Well, so there should be certain qualifications that fit yeah. the job description. So the other two parts. So the pledge is important to us that they sign that, and okay. we've got their signature to on the paper. To stick to the platform. Then the other two parts of the vetting process are, are the the fact that we we <clears throat> um, do have them do a SWOT analysis: strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That helps them, by the way. But we learn a lot about what they say about themselves. Mm -hmm. Then the third big one, though, is we'll spend two hours or more with each candidate, vetting them, talking with them in an interview. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, worked with retail salespeople, thousands of them all over the United States. Mm -hmm. So you learn to cut through the BS, mm -hmm. the guys that are opportunists, the guys that, that come right out and say, I don't believe in the platform. Well, what do you stand for then? Mm -hmm. uh, so, but there are some outstanding people 
running on our team for the state of Illinois. And there are places like let's, Lake County. Uh, let's put a, a little plug in here uh, for the American Majority Group, uh, run by the Ryan Brothers, uh, famous for their father was a four-minute miler, the first one. Mm -hmm. But uh, they do a wonderful job of uh, educating uh, new uh, people running for political office in uh, how you get the money and how you go around and uh, meet and greet the people and uh, with all of the techniques that anybody has to lo learn in the unusual business of getting elected. Mm -hmm. But now American, majority, American majority, majority is doing the training for these candidates on how to be better <clears throat> effective candidates, correct? Well, they do do candidate training, right. but they also do activist training. So right. they work with so a number of uh, Tea Party groups yep. and Patriot groups and so on. Uh, they are they are good, decent people, like Jack says, with a good track record. But now how it is, you know what, I'm looking forward to hearing more about some of the issues and how you're vetting these candidates for the Republican Renaissance PAC. Now, is this, this is just state candidates, correct? It is a state PAC, so we're limited to state, state of Illinois candidates. And how do they reach you real quick? Republican Renaissance PAC, um, 8 East Main Street, Carpentersville, Illinois, 60110.